All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, y'all got some explaining to do. It seems that they've come under fire for dropping unskippable ads in the game, just like they did last year. And we're going to talk about all that and more right after this. So if y'all don't do nothing else, like the video, because we out here fighting the good fight just for y'all. And I'm going to holler at y'all in one second. If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. So, as y'all see, um, here we are, NBA 2K21 under fire for uh, adding unskippable ads. And so, and since that, I suck at reading and y'all love pointing that out, I'm gonna let the co host take it away. Take it away, my guy. All right, so check it out. Two guys come under fire from an NBA 2K21 player for adding unskippable in-game adverts. As reported by Steve Orr, Steve Orr. Steve Orr, <laughs> oh, I not, guess I don't know what his name yeah, is, man. Hey, whatever bro name is, you feel me? 2K <laughs> added unskippable adverts to the full price basketball center pre game loading screen across all platforms. That's pretty much it. And uh, you know, you know, that's my guy, man, man, grind hard, man. And and it goes on to say some other stuff, man. Talking about it's a it's an ad that's with the Oculus Rift, but we didn't want to get get into what the ad was because we gonna we gonna get into that. But um, pretty much it's the same thing as as uh last year. We we remember 2K did this last year with Snowfall, and uh, it was an unskippable ad, and they was like, why did they put an unskippable ad into a sixty dollar game? And I was sitting there like, well, it can't be an unskippable ad. I went into there. Yeah, it was unskippable. I couldn't skip it. It was nothing I could do. And it showed it like every time you loaded into a what a my career game. And then they're saying now it's every time you load into a uh into a what's what's the other uh mode that no that that you spend a whole bunch of money on? Um the my team. My yeah, team. my team game. And they're like you can't even edit your lineup or do anything while <laughs> while it's loaded hey. in. It's like that's crazy. And it says what it said on uh, my team season two episode seven. The advert runs as runs runs as the match load. I mean, it's the match is loading. Wow. Uh, and it's so worth noting, like a fake loading screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like they literally replaced the loading screen with the ad. Now, um, before I go in on it, I, I would like to know how you feel about this young young grind hard. Uh, to be honest, it ain't. It's really nothing new. They've always did that. It just stand out more because they promoting stuff that has nothing to do with 2K. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like they've always did it. Like with in-game ads. I remember seeing like Allen Iverson ad, um, like documentary ads and stuff like that. But I felt right. like them was relevant to 2K. I right. don't know what the hell the Oculus Rift got to do with NBA 2K. Yeah, I have no clue either. Um, I, I guess the big thing about it is. It's like you said, it don't have anything to do with it. And I think they were skippable back then. Was the Allen Iverson documentary joint skippable or, or could you not skip that either? Nah, I don't think you could skip it. It just it just played. I mean, but who the hell want to skip Allen Iverson? Hey, that's, that's what I, that's what I yeah, was going to you know say. What yeah, it, it was something that you wouldn't want to skip. Now, I don't know if it becomes skippable or they just don't show it to you again after you see it. But from what they're saying, it's going to come up every time and you can't even you can't even edit your team. That's crazy. You can't do nothing to it. At least when they used to have the weak ass joints up there when it started up and you had uh, Rachel or you got LD2K and stuff like that. Once you get to the end of, you know, the little relevant part or whatever, you know, you get your little free 200 VC or like if you like me and you answer the question wrong every time, you don't get any VC at all because they be asking some questions that aren't even relevant to basketball, but you know, that that's something else. But you don't get, you get your VC, you don't get your VC. Either way, uh, either even even when that happens, you know, when they get to the end of that NBA 2K, uh, what's it called episodes, you can skip that. Or as soon as the game is ready to load, uh, you can you can skip it and um and this the one thing that's really important is the guy said according to Steve, Steve Iver the the uh, the experience is the same on PC even when running on running from an SSD and what that really means is a lot of people don't wouldn't wouldn't understand what that means but what he's saying is like um we might be thinking you might be thinking just like we're thinking okay well it's just a loading screen while the game loads up so once the game is done loading up then you're going to be able to go on but he's saying nah that's not the case he's saying that when you're loading on to the ss when you load on the ssd you know it loads in a snap right yeah, so it yeah. says right so he's saying that 
that it's it's not that it's it's literally just is what it is so his game is loaded in the background in an instant and it's ready to go and he still can't do anything now that's like it's it's one thing to take a minute of my time that's going to be taken anyway when you see it loading up to 99 percent or to 100 percent but once i see it load to 100 percent and i still can't go no oh, no man what you what you what you think man hey it's it's I'm interested to see how it is on next gen because you know Mike already said the loading screen on next gen is is instantly you know kind of like right. how the SSD is right right so right. get a goddamn load screen and say it's loading and we know it's not loading like that's clearly a finesse <laughs> it's a finesse bro. Like, exactly. don't tell me my game loading and just to show me no ad when I know it ain't loading you feel me like well right. I don't know it. It's I got an even better question. Do you feel like 2K have to do this, bro? At this um, point, I I mean they they like I said they what are they they say they they spend about a I think about a hundred million dollar goes into production and they make about a hundred I mean, they make about a billion um every time. I don't think they have to. I mean for them, I guess I guess it's business or what have you. It's just good business for them because there's not a whole lot that we can do about it. Um, but do they have to? No, nah, I don't feel like they have to do it. Um, but it does make sense for them to do it. Like, it, it, you got a captive audience, and you know that, the, and mm -hmm. most people are gonna sit there and think that there's, you know, most people think it's just a loading screen. But then, like you said, like you have a captive audience, they're gonna load into the screen anyway, and they've already pitched to the people, hey, we got this many, we have this number of people that watch our, I mean, that play our game every day. Um, you know, like 14 million people to play the game every day. They're gonna load into two or three my career games a day, and so they throw these numbers at the people when they are uh, when they do the advertisement. And uh, like we said, you know how it is with them unskippable ads. It's unskippable ads inevitably give you more money. We put an unskippable ad on our um, on our YouTube, and you can just watch watch it make significantly more revenue than uh, than the ones with the skippable ads. It's just a fact. So they don't have to, but it definitely makes sense for them to. Uh, from a business standpoint what are your thoughts sir i think another one of the key points that i that i was read when i was reading it uh they had an issue with it's a full price game yep. it's like downloading a free version of an app and then getting a premium version ain't nothing premium is it ain't nothing free about the game like we pay for the game right it's not like fortnite you know like if it was something like fortnite where we download the game for free yeah, they're mm -hmm. gonna get that however way they get it, bro. But we paying right. the full price and then we have no option to not look at the bullshit. Mm -hmm. that, that's crazy to me. Yeah, and that's true. That's so you crazy. have yeah, you, you gotta look at all of that. And um not only that, but just think about it this way too. It's like a freemium model, just like Fortnite, right? Except for except for Fortnite uh stuff, the things you can buy in Fortnite is cosmetics, right? But in this mm -hmm. game, you have to pay for the you have to pay for the cosmetics and you have to pay to upgrade your character. Like that's insane. <laughs> so, so it's a freemium model, and they're dropping ads on you. It's like that's that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I get it. Like I said, it makes sense from a business standpoint. I don't agree with it. I don't really. I, I, I don't. I don't think we should be subjected to that because you're already subjected to it when you go into the park. And I promise you, the same type of numbers that I threw at you the, is the same reason that they have the whole neighborhood model where you got ads here, ads there. You got a billboard here, billboard there. When you load in, you got swags. You got all the different app, uh, all the different brands in the stores and stuff. That's why, because it, it, it all of that inevitably makes them money because of brand deals that they've made with other people and and thus you got you know it's just more revenue for them like they said they make 60 percent of the revenue off of what microtransactions so where does the other 40 percent of the revenue come from they never really mentioned the game being part of the revenue so let's just say that they don't recoup anything on the game but they make a billion dollars so they're just going to recoup that hundred million that they spend in production of the game right on the game itself so the profit what 60 percent I, I could easily see 60 percent coming from us being dumbasses and, and upgrading this player because i'm not going out there to the park with a 75 it's not happening but not happening <laughs> so i'm not gonna do that so you know part of it is is the is the me factor i get it but the other half i could easily see 40 percent being advertisements these are advertisements that sit there all year you know hey and it's even deeper so look check it out mm-hmm in order for you to get say for example the gatorade right the gatorade set for the same price but in order for you to get the discount 
mm-hmm. you have to play so many games just to get that you know what i'm saying them extra little boost like right they really smart with the marketing when it comes to it bro like the product placement in the game yeah like when you load the first thing you see is uh in the neighborhood i think it puts you like right in front of the, like the little nba store like that's the first thing you see right that's why you know I'm that's, that's why the everybody... on the back side you have to yeah. run to it you know what i'm saying like, right they that's, know exactly what they're doing that's why only legends can spawn like somebody was saying uh, i was watching bass blood video and he was talking about how how you know they should let people spawn in anywhere they want to but they, they'll never do that because that's part of the marketing that you, you remember we, when we dropped this in 2k18 and with the same we dropped the same video then and we were like it's just they make you spawn at the Gatorade place in the back, so you have to run past all of that marketing, and they can pitch that every time that they load in, they're gonna see all of this. So, you know. And then once you get to the point to where you can pick like the different little spawn points, hell, you done already seen the advertisement a million times. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like that person done already seen it so many times, at that point, it don't even matter where you spun in it. Exactly, it's not even effective to him anymore. But then, mm-hmm. If they if they do it, they probably play playing twos anyway, and it ain't no easy way to get to the twos quarter. I don't even think you can spawn at the twos quarter any of that. So they're still gonna see mad ads and still stuff like that. Run by. You still yeah. gotta run. By. You still gonna run by. Even in this game that's up here right now, you see that every time we come down, we're seeing different clothing brands and stuff like that. Like especially with the come up court, you think that you think that that uh, joint is about to come up court by by mistake nah because that's what most people play is by the come up court and i'm seeing short shorts on sale and i got them short shorts on it affected me i guess eventually because i got on the short shorts and the tune and the uh and the disney uh the disney donald duck uh shirt so i guess they got me like i said i am i am that 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 dumb ass i ain't gonna lie to you it is what it we is we are we are yeah. hey you gotta come out that drip dot you gotta come out that swag dot you gotta come out there and do your thing uh, everybody knows that I got the best drip in the game chat. Uh, you know, tell me to rate my drip from one to ten when you um when we when we get this. But like I said, and Kyle Kyrie enough that scores thirteen point nine points a game. We made him quit because he don't score nothing. And that's my next video talking about how stats are so fraudulent in NBA two K because people do stuff like that and babysit their stats and all of that. But uh, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, like I said, we got the insertion of games, uh, all this stuff, man. What do you guys think? Let us know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is this something that's just a straight up money grab for 2K? Is this over, above, and beyond? This is like one of those things where they just shouldn't be doing it. They should just be like, like, look, we, we, you make enough money off of us on VC and forcing us to buy things with VC and putting stuff in the game at such high prices at VC to the where one of the people whose brands was in the game last year was like, hey, yo, can y'all drop this thing down from 30,000 to like two or 3,000 because my son can't afford this. And it was his brand. I forgot what brand it was. Somebody would tell me down in the comment section, but do you remember that? Do you remember that last year? Yeah, oh, that, yeah, yeah. The, I, the, I don't remember who it was, but that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, he was like, my son can't afford this 2K. Can y'all drop this down? And you know, they glossed right over it. But like I said, I understand it from a business standpoint. They have to make their money, um, but they make enough money off of my team and off of off of us to not have to do it but the main it's just crazy because somebody like me or you we play park we're not going to see that ad that much but the people that play my team they are the main people that get exploited because what the people that my team do they dropping their cash you're not playing my team straight up if you're an avid my team player so they're dropping that cash and not only that but when they dropping the cash they still gotta watch a big ass ad that they can't even skip. Yeah, <laughs> they can't even get the man. I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just say this in closing. Um, I don't know if people agree with it, but I know they say 2K just money hungry. This I I think with the amount of ads that we see, I I really feel like they have to do that at this point. I yeah. don't see them continue to do it with all the like just like this ad. It's a it's a backlash ad, but it's like I mean uh post, but. I feel like they have to. I, I feel like at this point they have to because there's no way that you would continue to do it, and you know the the feedback is the way it is. Yeah. And you continue yeah. to do it, and because you you just doing it because you want to. I think they literally have to do it at this point. Mm-hmm. That is a very very interesting take. And you think it's, you think it's just because they trying to trying to recoup some of the production costs and stuff like that makes or or it's because or or it's more because of the the shareholders 
you know, they saying, hey, we made a billion dollars last year. We need to make a billion this year. We need to make two billion this year, something like that. You, which one you think it is got more to do with? It? I, I think they have to. I mean, even with this year in itself, I mean, they, they, they're producing two different games. That's true. You know, it's, it's two different games. And they really, the promotion for, for current gen really, it really wasn't like it usually be. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't go all in with the with the promotion on uh current gen so I, I think at this point they pretty much have to do it yeah that's a very interesting take like you said why would somebody subject them subject themselves to the type of backlash that they're gonna get if they don't have to exactly i just think yeah you know what i mean that's a very interesting take i'm just gonna go on the side of they want money they need that money. now you know what like i said though like like i, I understand i'm not gonna say that it's money hungry but i will say it's a business and a business is always their number one priority is to make money and uh they're gonna do it any way that they can and like i said when you can tell somebody you got a captive audience and all of that and they, and, they, and they they choose to advertise with you and you go down to that bottom most people probably it's, it says skippable non-skippable or it doesn't matter but they probably got three check boxes and you probably have other advertisers that really don't even understand that and so they don't even do nothing they just say whatever microsoft know what they doing them boys said Check please, none skippable in then me. And, and you know, that that's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> it got, it's probably something like that. Like sometimes you deal with people that really don't understand the whole business. This time they're probably just dealing with obviously it's Microsoft. Obviously they understand. But hey, you know, that's all we got for y'all today, man. If y'all enjoyed this format, we're thinking about trying to figure out how we can do it live, but I gotta do it live and drop the Lido intro and all that. It actually went pretty smooth without a hitch today. And uh, you know, if y'all like it, let me know if we're gonna keep my man down in the comment section. And make sure y'all go by his Twitch. It's down in the description. He running Tony coming back today. The return of Tony Riches. The Tony Riches story continues. If you understood, if you knew what Tony Riches was last year, he was in big city. They he got booed out of big city. You know how there, you know, you you one of them guys, you come to a new city, you raise some hell, just like regular, and then you go to another city because they done they done ran you out of out of their city. So you know it is what it is so he went on he, he's in uh trio city now y'all go over there check the stream out it was lit last night it was awesome i enjoyed it i laughed my ass off and it's supposed to be even funnier tonight man we got jordan jordan bitch ass he gonna be in there too and uh yeah it's gonna be great man he gonna be probably scamming some but anyway chat that's all we got for y'all today i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till now oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, you know do you do your outro man tell him tell him tell him who it is man like, I don't hey, laugh. Listen, hey, listen, man. This man, man, ground hard. You know what I'm saying? Just hey, <laughs> we out, man. We out. We out. Right. Y'all, y'all know, y'all know who I am. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.